Did you know that South Africa has just sent a powerful warning to the International Criminal Court, or ICC, and the United States? Well, today we're going to explore this complicated situation and uncover the secrets and surprises hidden within the upcoming BRICS Summit and how it could change how countries work together. Well, the upcoming BRICS Summit in South Africa is not just any ordinary gathering. This event has captured the world's attention. People all around the world are really curious and excited about it. BRICS Summit is about to shake the world. Want to know why? Well, because this powerful gathering of leaders from Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa is a force to be reckoned with, tackling global challenges head on. But wait, there's a twist that's sending shockwaves through the summit's very core. Enter the arrest warrant for none other than President Putin himself. Talk about stealing the spotlight. Suddenly, uncertainty and speculation hang in the air like a thick fog, casting a shadow over this prestigious event. But guess who's not backing down? That's right. South Africa. You might think this would cause a lot of problems and make South Africa change its mind about hosting the summit, but no way. They're standing strong and sticking to their plan of hosting this amazing event. It's like they have super strong determination. This bold decision is making everyone wonder and think hard about the diplomatic strategies happening right in front of us. It's like South Africa is sending a message to the ICC saying, we're not scared of dealing with these tricky situations. It makes you wonder what this means for the relationships between South Africa, Russia, and the ICC. Could there be secret things happening that we don't know about yet? Amidst all the excitement, South Africa is staying strong and not letting anything disrupt its hosting responsibilities. This has sparked a lot of curiosity, and people are wondering why they made such a bold decision. What are the consequences they are willing to face? Well, here's an interesting piece of information that might help us understand. It's all about their principles. South Africa might be standing up for the important values of sovereignty and not interfering in other countries' affairs. They're playing the sovereignty card. The arrest warrant against Putin has put them in a tricky situation, but by hosting the summit, they are showing support for Russia. In a world where one country often acts alone, South Africa's brave move says, let's talk it out. They believe in using diplomacy and peaceful negotiations to solve conflicts. By taking this stance, South Africa is showing the International Criminal Court, or ICC, that peaceful methods are more effective than forceful actions. But wait, there's more. By fearlessly hosting the BRICS summit, an arrest warrant against Putin be damned, South Africa is making a strategic power play. They're flexing their muscles within the BRICS alliance, cementing their role and influence. And their reputation as a reliable and steadfast partner? It's skyrocketing. South Africa is on a mission to prove that when the going gets tough, they don't run for cover. No, they rise to the occasion and show the world what true commitment looks like. It is some serious global politics. South Africa is stepping up to the plate and showing us how it's done. While everyone else is worried about tensions and uncertainty, South Africa has a different goal in mind. They want to keep things stable and calm in the world. Imagine this, a president getting arrested. It's a huge event that could cause a lot of problems worldwide. But guess what? South Africa is not interested in making things worse. They have a clever plan, and it starts with hosting the BRICS Summit and getting all the member countries involved. So what's their strategy? They want to be the peacekeepers, the people who help solve problems and find common ground. By creating this platform for positive conversations and teamwork, South Africa is positioning itself as the key to stability and reducing tensions between countries. It's a brilliant move, my friends. South Africa is playing a smart game in the world of global affairs, and they have big goals in mind. By going ahead with the summit, they are creating opportunities for future collaborations and showing that they are important players on the world stage. But wait, there's more. It's not just about politics, it's about the economy too. Hosting a huge international event like this brings a lot of economic benefits. It means more tourists, chances for investments, and lots of attention from around the world. South Africa knows how to make the most of this moment. They're using the summit to show off their potential and attract businesses. They're all about trade and investments, making South Africa an attractive place for businesses to come and grow. By taking advantage of this amazing opportunity, South Africa positions itself as a great destination for economic growth and success. It's a clever move that will bring them lots of advantages. But here's the exciting part. South Africa is not judging anyone. They're too smart for that. 
their decision to host the BRICS summit is a well-thought-out move. It protects their national and international interests while promoting the values of talking and working together. They're creating a space for resolving conflicts and disagreements in a diplomatic way, and they're doing it with a careful balance. Imagine this. South Africa standing tall and being a strong supporter of working together with other countries. In a time when countries often do things on their own, South Africa's bold move sends a strong message. By hosting the summit despite the arrest warrant, they're saying how important it is for everyone to come together and find common ground, even when things are complicated. South Africa's strong commitment to holding the BRICS summit shows how much they care about talking and working together. They're giving leaders from different countries a chance to have positive discussions. It's all about diplomacy and finding peaceful solutions. This message spreads all over the world and reminds us of the power of solving problems peacefully. But wait, there's more to the story. By hosting the BRICS summit, South Africa is showing that they are really good at bringing people together and helping them talk. It's not just about Russia and other BRICS countries, but also about getting global players to communicate. This move proves that South Africa is a key player in shaping how the world works. South Africa is leading the way, showing the stability and harmony are important goals worth fighting for. Even when things are tough, they're not giving up. They're bringing hope for a better future. They're being proactive and using their experience in resolving conflicts and making peaceful changes. This move shows that South Africa is committed to building connections and finding common ground. South Africa's choice to host the summit shows how much they respect international institutions like the ICC even with the arrest warrant for President Putin, they believe in fairness and innocence until proven guilty. They want these institutions to keep working and be trusted. By sticking with the BRICS summit, South Africa is making a strong statement. They believe legal issues should be dealt with using established international rules. They want a world where the law is followed and justice is served fairly. But there's something we need to talk about. Hosting the summit while there's an arrest warrant can be tricky. South Africa is facing challenges and might face criticism. It's not easy to navigate international relationships, but they're staying strong and believing in talking and working together. They want conflicts to be resolved peacefully, following the rules. Don't forget South Africa's good qualities of engagement, talking and solving problems. These are important and shouldn't be forgotten. They're taking a big step in creating a platform for discussions that make us think and analyze important issues. Let's think about the positive reasons behind South Africa's decision. They want to promote talking, finding solutions, and working together with many countries. This is how conflicts can be resolved peacefully. By understanding these reasons, we can see why South Africa made this bold choice. But let's also listen to the other side. Some people worry about international justice and what this decision might mean. This is a complex discussion that needs more thought and analysis. We can explore South Africa's reasons, the impacts, and the balance between justice and diplomacy. It's a fascinating journey that will challenge our thoughts and help us understand the complicated world of international relations. In the end, South Africa hosting the summit shows their commitment to a world where countries cooperate, things are stable, and economies grow. It's a tricky situation, but it has the potential to shape the future of global affairs. So what are your thoughts about this? Don't forget to mention it in the comments section. With that said, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. And if you found this content helpful, give the video a like. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.